Well, hey, hey, hi, and hello there, and welcome to a very, very, very exclusive and special episode of Minecraft. Uh, some of you might recognize this place right away and be like, Ah, oh, no way! Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I apologize for my very sporadic and almost non-existent video uploads, but... I have a serious issue with Fraps too. It only records for 30 seconds, and I have the full version, so I'm not sure what that is. So I'm gonna have to make this quick. Uh, this is a 600th video special, and 600 is not a benchmark, but for me it is. So basically, what I have to do is I'm gonna bring instead of doing the museum, I'm gonna bring back the original Moria. As you can see, it's very very nice, and um, yeah gonna be awesome but uh, I'll have a problem because no matter what tool I use I cannot bring this map I'm using an older version of Minecraft which you can now use with the new launcher but I cannot um, bring this version into the modern day this is like the original original town hall engineers guild miners guild explorers guild or peasants guild as it were this was just prior to the uh, explosion we still have I'll show you something fun over here. I still have the iron blocks that we mined out. This was even before the chests would save anything in multiplayer. And we had to take all the resources that we dug out and stack them in these huge blocks. That's solid iron blocks all the way down through and into the mountain. So that we could save them for when the chests actually worked in multiplayer. SMP. So that's how old this map is. It's over three years old. And I'm going to bring it back. But the only way that I can do that and um, have all the original locations that we discovered along the way is by... I can't even change this to creative mode with NDBT in it. So what I have to do is re around the entire map and re-find all these places um, to load the chunks in so then I can convert it. Because uh, this chunk data doesn't exist in the newer versions of Minecraft. It's gone. However... All of my materials still exist here, which means I can bulk up and build some more, and landmark everything for the map making purposes, and uh, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I am going to get it on the server so that we can once again play it in all of its glory. Oh, yeah, redstone will be done in all of its glory. So I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. There's lots of stuff coming. I was going to have my uh, 600th video be development footage for the game that I'm working on because I'm developing a three-dimensional version of Line Rider and it's coming along nicely I'll give you some screenshots at the end of this video which is coming very soon but oh yeah we made lots of those <laughs> I'm gonna take those with me gold armor that's right I have diamond over here as you saw just a minute ago but I collected a lot of stuff and put it all in the storage there's all kinds of mushroom soup and meat and yeah so so check out, um, you know, stay for the end of the video here. Check out the stuff that I am uh, going to show you regarding the development of the game. And get excited, because Sorbius has gone nowhere. I'm still here. I just had to do some of that stuff. So I thank you guys for watching. Keep watching the videos. Keep supporting MGI. And we're going to go all the way. I'll see you later. Oh, yeah.
Oh no, no, no! <laughs> this is why I love this server, man. <laughs>